Let me just say this. I'm, I'm really excited uh, to be joining and staying with Coach Adams at Texas Tech. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed my four years working for Coach Beard. A uh, lot, lot of great times, but uh, extremely excited about the future of our basketball program at Texas Tech with Coach Adams in charge. Uh, not only is you know he one of the best defensive coaches in college basketball, maybe the best, I think people are soon going to find out that he's one of the best coaches, period. And uh, this program has been at a top 10, top 15 level. Uh, I fully expect that that program's going to stay here. Uh, our goal is not, and not any different than it's been. We want to continue to compete for Big 12 championships, and we want to hang a banner out there that says national champions. And uh, I, I think that's very, very possible in the future. We got the right guy in charge, and I think the fans here are going to be extremely excited uh, about the future of this program. Today, we'd like to welcome our newest member of our coaching staff. Uh, we were teammates in college. Um, I joke with our players. He used to ask me how many points a game I averaged back in the day. I said, well, if number five, a guy named Corey Williams would have passed the ball to me more, I would average a lot more. But uh, anyway, we're excited that Corey's here. He, uh, he's got a great basketball mind. He's one of the most competitive people uh, I've ever been around. Fortunate to play with him at Oklahoma State for two years on two Sweet 16 teams. I think he's the only, uh, only, only uh, student athlete in the history of Oklahoma State to be drafted uh, in the NBA and the NFL. He never played it down to football in high school or college. Uh, the Chiefs picked him in the seventh round. The Bulls picked him, I think, the 32nd pick, second round in the NBA. He went on to play, won a world championship with Michael Jordan. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, he's, he's, a, he's an outstanding basketball coach and one of the elite recruiters in college basketball. Uh, just in the last two recruiting classes, he signed and recruited five top 100 players. Uh, also, a handful of some of the best transfers on the market in college basketball. So, uh, no question, the recruiting here is going to stay at a high level. We're continue to get outstanding players, both in high school and also in the transfer portal. So, let me just welcome Corey and his wife Nicole, and then uh, their two their two kids, CJ. And Jordan, Corey. Well, thank you. First of all, thank you, Sean. Uh, he was right, but he had one thing wrong. It's not that if I would have passed him the ball more, it's more like if he would have passed it to number five instead of number mm -hmm. 35 more, <laughs> I could have played in the NBA a lot longer. This is an exciting moment for me and my family to have the opportunity to join Coach Adam and his staff. You know, um, uh, Arkansas is a special place, but when uh, Coach Adam and Texas Tech call, it was pretty easy. Uh, to move on here and uh, you know they've done some wonderful things in the past and I'm certainly going to hopefully add to their coaching staff already in place but you know when when I talk to coach Adam he's a easygoing but very com competitive uh, a coach and I certainly when I talked to him I realized the accolades he's achieved over the, in the past winning championship playing for championships on on the division one level uh, that I wanted to be a part of his staff. I wanted to be a part of his transition to be becoming the head coach here at Texas Tech, and uh, I wanted to make sure that I was I was with his group. And so, with that said, I'm 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 here to 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 do whatever. I'll mop the floor. I'll I'll change the blinds. I'll I'll wash, wipe the b basketballs off. I'll do whatever. I'm a team player, um, and I'm excited as heck to be in Lubbock. But the only thing. Um, that Sean forgot to tell me is, is how the weather fluctuated. All he told me was that it was going to be sunshine all the time. So I came out Sun, here with Sunshine a, 75 every day. Yeah, that's what he told me. Wind never blows here. I had a short sleeve shirt. I immediately had to get a jacket pretty quick, and I hadn't let this jacket go since I've gotten here. Excited as heck, and like he said, we're here to, to, to win a national championship. We, that's what we're here to do, and uh, certainly we're going we're gonna to do everything in our power to get that done. All right, guys, if you're going to have a question, go ahead and utilize to raise your hand. So, uh, David Collier, start with you. Uh, hey, Corey, uh, David Collier from the ABC here in Lubbock. You, you kind of touched on it there a little bit, but what has what the entire Sutton family meant to you as a player and a coach throughout your career? Oh, well, they've been like, I mean, starting with Coach Sutton and, and, and Mrs. Sutton, they were like my, my, my mother and father away from home. Uh, they treated me like, like I, were their, I was their son. You know, I go back to when Coach Sutton retired, um, you know, five minutes before he was supposed to get up and speak. 
he called me in his office and he says to me, Corey, you're speaking. I was like, okay, yes, sir. And I had to speak right then. But he, he called me on my birthdays and, and sang, not, t- not tell me happy birthday. He sung happy birthday to me. And, uh, of course, I, I coached with Scott Sutton, Sean's brother. I played with Sean, and their family is like family to me. And, uh, you know, when, when you have an opportunity in life to, to go back and play with your teammate and a guy who, who is like your brother, uh, that, that that makes you excited, and I'm certainly excited about being with him. But his family, his dad, his mom, his brothers, uh, they mean the world to me, as, as well as his, his wife. I knew Trina before I knew Sean, and uh, I tell him all the time, he I kick this coverage. <laughs> uh, a couple more, Coach. Um, I know coaching is a, is a weird uh, profession, but did, did you envision that you would be – on the other bench uh, <laughs> after playing Texas Tech in the tournament not long ago. No, well, let me say this, Coach Adams. Like he uh, he did a great job recruiting Corey. Coach Adams did an unbelievable job, yeah. and uh, it's tough for him to leave Arkansas. But I think he recognized that uh, it's a special situation and and uh, a great opportunity to work for a, a great man, number one, but also a terrific basketball coach that. Uh, uh, believes in a lot of the same things that uh, Corey and his family believe in. Yeah, you know, it, 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 exactly. I, I never envisioned me coming to Texas Tech. But when you peel back the, 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 the layers on the onion when it comes to Coach Adam, he stands for the same things I stand for. And uh, when we talk, it was easy. It's tough. Arkansas, lead eight, you know, and you, you got a lot of things going there, uh, a good recruiting class. But when I talk to him and uh, – Everything that Coach Sutton had, everything he told me was true. And uh, certainly uh, I was excited to get here and get started. And, and shucks, I don't think I've slept for three hours. And, you know, these guys work, and I, and I like to work. I, one of the things I said before I got the job, I'm not scared of work. I'm not allergic to work. I'm ready. And uh, I know the mission at hand, and I'm, I'm excited to get that done. Sean mentioned it there, you know, your football background. It might have been a few years ago. What were your thoughts on Coach Adams' uh, catch there at the spring game on Saturday? You know what? He, 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 I told him, I said, I, I hadn't seen speed like that since I, uh, the last time I saw a turtle, uh, he was crossing the street <laughs> and getting, trying to get to the water. But he, he, I was shocked that he caught it. And, uh, and he caught it, and he, it was like, oh, this is easy. You know, like he's done it before. Uh, but but I was, it was good to see him do that. And, uh, I mean, that's the, that's the thing. I, I get in that arena, I'm excited. Uh, I mean, seeing the football team and just people here are so wonderful and, and nice. And uh, I'm just excited to get it done, get started, you know, and, and work for this guy. Coach Adam, the last thing I said about Coach Adam is this. He, he, he makes you want to work for him make you want to really work hard for him and uh not that he has to say anything but you see the passion in his eyes and you understand that he's a winner and a proven winner and i want to be with a winner and that's why i'm here did you have you, have, you, have you signed your contract yet because like uh that wasn't a great statement on your part you were surprised that he caught the ball yeah well <laughs> uh, I, I have to be honest you know he talked about himself being a quarterback he never said anything about a wide receiver. And so when he did that in and out move and they threw that pass, it was easy. It was like it was like butter. And uh, so I was excited because, you know, I, I, I've thrown the first pitch at a baseball game and I was nervous as heck. And I only can imagine how nervous he was when he did that move. But he made that catch. He looked like uh, Deion Sanders uh, with an interception. So hopefully I made up for that. All right, let's go to Carlos. to kind of sell you on I know you've spoken about the work that you wanted to do but how how long was this conversation in terms of when he first started talking to you was it phone conversations and how long up until you kind of signed the contract or got to Lubbock well well coach Adams he uh talked with uh Eric Musselman and got permission to speak with me and uh um and uh then we began the dialogue then and, and the conversation after the conversation I realized pretty quickly that this is something I I, I might want to want to do. I discussed it with my wife. We prayed over it. 
And uh, later on that night, I told Coach Musselman that, you know, I was going to head to Texas Tech. And uh, I think the good thing about them is they respected what I did at, at Arkansas. They didn't want to lose me. But uh, at that time, I had prayed enough and talked to my wife and family enough that uh, this decision was final for me. And uh, then I made the transition. But but never, no decision is ever easy. Um, but But, you know, it was the right thing for me and my family. Conversations, or did you meet him face to face? And I guess, like you had mentioned, you kind of saw that competitive fire in his eyes. When did you kind of realize that? You know, on the phone? Well, when he was on the phone, our conversation, um, you know, he, he made it clear that, you know, he's here to win, not, not next year, not the year after that, but now. And uh, I said, yes, sir. And uh, he said, I'd love to have me on board. And I said, I'm, I'm, I'm committed to you, coach, and uh, let's get to work. So um, just hearing his voice, how, he, how passionate he is about this university and, 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 and wanting to take this program to a whole other level. And uh, I'm excited about that. That moves my needle tremendously, and I know i got to go to work. You've mentioned how you and him align on certain things. I guess how are you offensively, or I guess what do you feel your talents are that you're bringing to help him take this uh, program to the next level? Well, one of the things I got drafted, when I got drafted in the NFL, they drafted me because of my defense. Um, I've already always been a, a good defender, uh, and over the years, of course, being a head coach, you learn how to coach offense and, and as well. But, but we, we defensively, we we have the same mindset, you know, that we want to make sure we guard that basketball, you know, and make sure guys in the lane, make sure we give up no layups, make sure we give up no uncontested shots, and that we block out and rebound. And then it's from a, a, a spiritual background. He, he he lines up with who I am and. Uh, I certainly admire what he's done, and, and you know he's been one of those guys that's been at the forefront of this thing. And so I've been able to watch him over the years at Texas Tech, over the years before I even got here, defensively how sound they was, and and uh, some of that some of that stuff aligns with what I what I what I believe in too as well. How long have you actually been in Lubbock, and have you been able to talk to the players, and who have you spoken to, and who have you kind of I guess gelled with, so to speak? Well, I've been here four days. Um, <laughs> he's, met, he's met all the guys that are here right now. Yeah, uh, we have all the guys that so far have uh, uh, committed. They're coming back. Corey's had a chance to to be around. Uh, and the one thing that I'll say about him, like, he made an immediate impression on every one of them. And I think all of them uh, are, are thrilled and excited that he's here because of his personality. I think that they. Uh, you know, respect the fact that how good Arkansas's players were this year, the way they competed. They obviously are, are well aware of his background of playing for the Chicago Bulls and Michael Jordan being his teammate and winning the world championship. Uh, and also, you know, some of the great, you know, some of the great coaches he's been around, you know, played for uh, Leonard Hamilton, uh, played for Eddie Sutton, uh, played for Bill Self, was an assistant there. And then, uh, uh, you think about he went to work for, for Leonard Hamilton at Florida State. He's been a head coach. Uh, Musselman is certainly – Coach Musselman certainly uh, uh, one of the best coaches right now probably in college basketball and gets a lot of credit from an offensive standpoint. So I think, you know, they're looking forward to get to know him better. But I think Corey will be somebody that will be uh, highly popular with our players on campus, be a great role model for them and somebody that uh, – they can easily relate to and come talk to about situations, anything going on in their life. That's not for me, Coach Sutton. I know you talk a lot of good things about Coach uh, Corey here, but in terms of when you heard that Coach Adams was going after him in terms of being an assistant, what, what were your thoughts? And I guess did, did you kind of mention his name as, as someone that could be someone that could help take you all to the next level? Well, I mean, we, we, we discussed uh, a wide range of, of uh, uh, people for the job because we, we feel like, you know, this is one of the – uh, you know, best opportunities for assistant coaches out there to continue to work at Texas Tech, who's been uh, so successful, especially the last four seasons, work for somebody that uh, has won all his life at a lot of different levels in Coach Adams, and then continue to try to make this one of the best basketball programs in the country. So we talked a lot, of, a lot, a lot of, about a lot of names, but uh, Corey was the one we kept coming back to that we felt like was the best fit at this time for what we were looking for. And uh, uh, he's the only one that he offered the job to. And uh, he was the first one he offered the job to. And so we were excited that uh, it moved pretty quickly after they had their first conversation. Uh, they had a second one. Corey and I discussed it uh, several times. 
Corey's very, uh, very close to also Barrett Perry, who's on our staff. And so I think the one thing that uh, uh, has been neat is like we, we go back a, long, a, a lot of years, all of us. And uh, so far there's been great chemistry on this staff. Coach Adams will continue to, to look, and he's going to add one more assistant at, at some point uh, that will, will join us. And uh, I don't think right now uh, he's in a big hurry. He's got a lot of great candidates out there that want the job. But, uh, uh, yes, I, mean, I, I, I after he visited with Corey, felt they had a second conversation. He said, you're right, like, this is the guy that we need to get. And so uh, Barrett and I were both extremely excited and felt like we got the right guy to, to come in here and help, and help us. Okay, let's go to Brady King. Hey, Coach Williams. Brady King with Fox 34 and KCBD. Um, what are you kind of looking forward to with a lot of roster changes happening over the past few weeks, obviously? On the recruiting side of things, what are you looking forward to and be able to, being able to recruit to Texas Tech and Lubbock as a whole? Well, we want to go after the best talent in the country. That's the bottom line. And, uh, you know, they have to fit Coach Adams' um, uh, personality and his philosophy as well. And uh, so I'm looking for the best fit for this basketball team. And that could be from – um, anywhere in the country, but we're going to go get them. And we feel like we have the resources to be able to do that. We think Coach is um, – um, he's proven himself. He's coached so many NBA players. You know, in this day and age, that's what those guys uh, uh, aspire to do. And, and and we think we have a coach that, that will allow them to be able to attain that goal. So uh, we're going to go anywhere in the country, and we want to get the best that, that fits. Um, like I said before, Coach Adams' mindset, his mindset as well as – his defense and offense philosophy. And then last one for me, how much do you talk about kind of your NBA experience with the players, being able to share very rare, unique experience to be able to have an NBA title? How much do you talk to them about that? Well, I talk to them about it a lot uh, as we progress. But, you know, most of those stories are like the first fish you ever catch. You know, you catch a probably a, um, not even a one-pounder, but somehow I end up being a 12-pounder. And uh, so I'll, 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 I have no film to back this up. They have no film that they can get. So I tell them how much I used to school Michael Jordan, that I could have been the next Michael Jordan if Michael Jordan would have passed me the ball. Unfortunately, my job was – that was not my job to receive the passes. My job was to give the passes to Michael. So those stories will be told all the time. And most young men are, are interested in knowing how it is on that level. And, and uh, I can tell them from personal experience – uh, playing with one of the greatest basketball players ever. Joe Yeager. Joe Yeager. Hey, Coach Williams, um, when you go out on the recruiting trail, what type of player do you look for? Uh, what sort of attributes do you look for in a potential recruit? Well, I look for the, the type that Coach Adams like. That's first. Understanding what he likes, that's what I want to make sure I get. Uh, it's not my – it's not what I like, it's what he likes. And uh, uh, I know he wants guys that can play on the next level, bottom line. And he wants guys that are good guys, uh, that's going to do the right thing on and off the court. And uh, guys that are not afraid to work, that go, that's going to be in the gym, uh, that you don't have to tell them, motivate them. They, they want to get in there on, on, on their own. So those are the kind of kids you're going to look for that plays hard, not just for 10 minutes, but the entire time they're on the basketball court. And I think if you get a collection of those guys who are good teammates and understand what it means to be a team, I think that's, that's, what, that's what allows you to win national championship. You look at Virginia when they won it. They had a group of collective guys that played together, understand, understood each other. And I think those are the guys that I'm going to be looking for. But we're going to be looking for the top guys in the country as well. Uh, we think we have a, a coach and a program that, that, that's, that's able to get those type of guys, and we're going to certainly go knocking at their door and hopefully get those doors knocked down. Okay, let's close it out with Ryan King. Coach, first of all, curious that you've been here a few days, but curious um, with Texas Tech landing a recruit, Ethan Duncan, late last week, and then uh, Chandler Jacobs transferred today, how much yeah. you've been involved in uh, those decisions, those conversations? I can't talk about that. Okay, on top of that, I was curious, um, what have you – it seems like you've had – only a few jobs over years and years usually stay at each of those for a while. What is that 
about for you as far as the loyalty of it or they're just good positions or why why is it usually you see most coaches jump around but yours doesn't seem to be like that as much I, I never wanted to be that guy that 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 people thought that I was chasing a job or chasing dollars that's not me um, money doesn't move me um, what moves me is being around people who I think fit who I am I, I like to work but I like to have fun while I'm working, you know, too, as well. And I just want to be around somebody who wants to win, who is competitive, because I'm competitive as heck. We, 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 we both saw that when we played against each other. Heck, we would fight each other. Uh, uh, he, uh, that's what makes Sean special to me, because he was a competitor, and he competed for everything he got. So uh, I've stayed with guys six to eight years. That's been my M.O. And this was the first time that I, I talked to a coach who I felt like it was really easy for me to leave after two years. Uh, not that I didn't enjoy the, the, the things that we accomplished at Arkansas, great institution, enjoyed working for Coach Moss. Uh, he's been good to me and my family, but I, I, I felt like this was an opportunity of a lifetime to be with a coach who, who, who wins and who, uh, who, who is on, on many levels, uh, we, we, we're, we're similar. And so I wanted to do that. And then I had a chance to partner up with some of my good friends, especially my brother here, Sean Sutton, uh, who is my older brother. I'm the youngest one, by the way.